The flounder lives in many waters of the earth, burying itself under sand and gravel where it resides, looking up at the sea. It has the ability to swim quickly, but its view only of above, as it is a horizontal flat fish with two eyes residing on the top of its body. Although this is not a common trait, in this the flounder is not alone. Turbot and halibut both have eyes on one side of their heads. Very few fish share this same characteristic. So why has the flounder been so successful in reproducing for millions of years? When born, the flounder is a vertical fish with an eye on each side of the dorsal fin. During early stages of its growth, one eye migrates over the fin and lands next to the other. Depending on what part of the world the flounder is in, it could be the right or left eye. Here is an illustration showing that time lapse. While it starts out swimming in the vertical position, its body adjusts and changes its habitat, body movement, and also colors of its scale. While the eye moves, one side of the body becomes more exposed to the light of the sun, while the bottom turns a singular dull white. The top part begins the process of camouflaging into its surroundings. In order to hunt, the flounder must blend in with the floor of the sea. Its scales eventually match the gravel that it will hide in in order to catch its prey. This change is important to the flatfish. While many fish find methods of hunting that involve swimming in open waters, the flounder is able to almost completely cover itself below. It is less of a threat of being eaten by larger fish because it is not intruding in their territory, and it is hidden from smaller creatures such as shrimp who roam the bottom of the floors. One quick motion and the flounder has its dinner, made possible by its range of vision. Its eye location allows it to see the shrimp before the shrimp sees it. Very few fish have eyes on one side of the head. So how can it be so beneficial to the flounder? And why have not many other fish evolved in this way? What set off this type of growth in the flounder? What process led it to this point over millions of years of existence? Many theories have evolved over time. Geneticist Robert Goldsmith considered the growth to be what he referred to as an evolutionary leap, where one mutation becomes a benefit to the creature's life and continues to be passed on down the gene line. Goldsmith's theory was formed in 1930, but it was not until 2007 that it was finally proved wrong by Heteronychus. Heteronychus is a fossil named by Dr. Matt Friedman. This fossil shows the first signs of a flatfish millions of years ago. The fossil's eyes are, was undergoing the process of movement over the dorsal fin. Although not completely on its side yet, the adult flounder proves that the process was a slow one that evolved over many years, becoming a permanent and beneficial part of the flounder's life. The flounder's odd shape and way of life has proved to be a success, but its way of hunting and movement do not come without threat. Its quick motions turn up a lot of gravel as it moved, and its biggest threat becomes the fish-eating birds lurking above. But still, this setback has